Sky pilots turn up every spring. That's a nice boy. Yeah. How long will you be? Oh, not long. I'm just going to hide in for a dress fitting. Do you have any money? How much? Five dollars. Five dollars? How do you keep that awful thing? Well, that? That's for good luck. Ever since I've been carrying that, I haven't been bitten by a single rattlesnake. time you looked in your neighbor's eye and said, I love you, brother? And when was the last time you raised your eyes and said, I aim to see those pearly gates and sit on that golden throne? When was that? Two months ago? Six months ago? A year? Oh, I see we have our work cut out for us in this sin-filled town. Revival meeting. Tomorrow night, Swanson's Grove, 7.30. You tell your neighbors. 7.30 tomorrow night. Here you are, sister. You won't regret it. Come on out there with your friends. Tell your neighbors, 7.30, Swanson Stroke. There you are, brother. Well, now, what do we got here? My brother here is a deaf mute. I'm lame. We heard about your miracles. Heal us, brother love. Drive out our devils, wash us clean. Well, now, my sons, I can't cure you all by myself. It'll take the combined prayers of all your good neighbors here, but I guarantee you, you come to my meeting tomorrow night and you'll leave walking, and he'll leave singing joyous hosannas. Hallelujah, brothers. Hallelujah, brother. Yeah, lady. Oh, your piety and serenity falls fair upon my eyes. I'd like to offer you a special invitation. Sister... Uh... Audra Barclay. Oh, yes. I'm Brother Love. I've heard about your family. They're quite prominent in these parts. You could lend an awful lot to our crusade, Sister Audra. Well, I... Uh... 7.30 tomorrow night, Swanson's Grove. Hallelujah, Sister. Remarkable. Remarkable. Come on, Audra, let's go and try your dress on. Howdy, fellas. You were due in yesterday. What held you up? A convert, brother, a convert. Soft she was, like a mouse's ear. <laughs> Old mace has been limping and gawking around here for two days. Set you up pretty good. You figuring on getting your foot caught with another convert? I saw you talking up a pretty young one over there. Now, look, fellas, by ourselves, we could hit this town for about $15 and a dozen eggs. Now, we get the right people behind us, and we can get fat. Now, that girl I was talking to was Audra Barkley, the richest family in the valley. And we need their support. And I intend to get it. With the girl. Have I missed one yet? Hallelujah, brothers. Hallelujah. Cleave under the word. Remember the lilies of the valley, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, brother. Hallelujah.
tonight, 7.30. Brother, some people build buildings, I build souls. Seven thirty tomorrow night, Swanson Scrooge. See you there, brother. Hallelujah. Lucifer's lair, Satan's sanctum sanctorum, and all you poor unfortunates who abide herein. You come to Beelzebub's banquet hall to seek forgetfulness in the waters of Lethe. For shame. And you, you swill Belial's bills drained from the blackest slough on the river Styx. And I suppose you come to the altar of the arch fiend because you were cast such a poor lot. Well, when was the last time you asked him for a better one, brother? I wouldn't do that. Hallelujah, brother. And what have we here? The woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet and adorned with precious and golden gems. And in her hand, she had a golden cup full of abomination. Why? For love? No, no, no. It's the devil's arms you'll find. Love. Love. Love! What's a man without love? I'll tell you. 200 pounds of meat walking around. As much meat as in a yearling, a big buck. Same amount of meat as in four big dogs or ten little ones. Same amount of meat as in 100 rabbits or 200 sleek fat rats. That's what a man is without love, doomed to eternal damnation. And that goes for gossipers, coveters, actors, and people who dance on Sunday. Jack of clubs. Jack of diamonds. Jack of hearts. Jack of spades. You notice, brothers? Not one of them will look you straight in the eye. Could you look a man straight in the eye? If you were condemning his immortal soul to the eternal fires, Hallelujah, brothers. Meeting tomorrow night. Swanson's Grove, 7.30. Bring your faith with you. Give my best to the family. I will. You can count on that dress being ready by Thursday. Or would you want it in time to wait at Swanson's Grove? Thursday will be fine. Don't you believe brother love can heal people? Oh, I believe in miracles, but I'm not sure Brother Love is the one to perform them. I suppose not. Mother. Over here, dear. I just wanted to tell Audra goodbye. Goodbye, darling. When will we see you again? I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Come on, dear. Let's, let's go inside. Sister, may I help you with those, please? Thank you. They're really no time. No, no, no. Please, please. Which way are you going? Toward the saloon. Sister Audra. My buggy's parked out front, Brother Love. Well, I should have known that. Sister Audra. I sincerely hope that you and your fine family will attend our meeting tomorrow night. You see, it's very, it's very important to me. Very important to you? Well, yes. You see, if, uh, if people of quality attend, it has a very positive effect on the less materially fortunate. Well, I'll mention it to my family. Well, may I mention it myself? 
Certainly, my brother's right behind you. Excuse me, brother. Yes, I think we've had the pleasure before. I was just telling your lovely sister that I was looking forward to meeting your fine family tomorrow morning. Hallelujah, brother. I didn't invite him. Hallelujah, sister. But you must understand, Mr. Love, we have our own fates. I don't proselyte constituents, Mrs. Barclay. I merely steal souls from the devil. In place of worship, I deliver them to his immaterial. You have no church. I have no edifice. But I have a church. You see, there's so much evil in the world that I, uh, well, I, I feel it would be unfair for me to stay in just one place. More tea. Uh, no, 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 thank you. Well, there have been some amazing healings at some of my meetings, Mrs. Barclay. I sincerely hope you'll come and witness the power of prayer in action. The power of prayer? Oh, yes. Only recently I was accosted by, by two poor souls, one a lame and one a mute. And tonight at the meeting, I'm going to heal them. Oh, it's happened on more than one occasion, and it's a sight to see. Can I count on you? I'm afraid that would be impossible. Huh. Well, that's a pity. I, I, I was kind of looking forward to seeing Sister Audra this morning. Is she here? No, this is her day at the orphanage. She asked me to extend her apologies. Well, how like Sister Audra to be involved in good works. Did I pass that on the way down here? Was that near the old mill? Mm -hmm. That's it. Mother, I'm ready to go. I've got a buggy all set. Say, whose horse is that out there? Uh, this is my son, Nick. Nick, this is Brother Love. Brother Love? Just a man of the cloth bringing his bright word to the benighted territory. Uh huh. Is that your horse, Asa? Yes, the black one. I noticed a rifle in the saddle scabbard. Uh, Brother, I fight the devil with any means at hand. I see. I think I came at a bad time. I'll see my own way out. Uh, Mrs. Barkley? What time did you say Sister Audra left for the orphanage? About 20 minutes ago. Oh, good, good. Then maybe I'll pass her on the way back. Uh, via can do your sister? Brother? Well, now, what did he want? The sustenance of the Barclay prayers. I think. what I'd call a pretty fast team. When somebody shoots us. Oh, probably some kids in a lark up in the hills. Thank you for helping me. Well, after you stood me up, I should let you keep right on going. You really didn't give me much of a chance to explain yesterday. Anyway, I, I appreciate what you just did. Well, I'm happy to be of service. Perhaps I, can, uh, perhaps I can see you to your destination. Oh, that won't be necessary. I'm just going to the orphanage. Once a week, the members of my group take two children on a picnic. And I never thought of orphans as being lucky. Well, you're welcome to join us. Uh, there's plenty of food here. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean to suggest it. Well, really, I made more than enough. Anyway, it's the least I can do to repay you. Sister Audra, sweetness sits on your shoulders like a silken scarf. I'll get my horse. I'll follow behind you. Enough to eat. Yeah, I don't care if I don't eat for a week. 
He says he's full, but he's got four pieces of chicken in his pocket. Those box in the trash, you would too. Now, you both know you get plenty to eat at the orphanage. Mr. Audra, you're spoiling the game. I'll tell you what. First one to find me a bird's nest with an egg in it gets a brand new shiny dime. Now, how's that? Great! Oh, Neatly done, brother. Well, after a hearty meal, it helps the system to work off a little energy. Like you're doing? <laughs> you see, the nice thing about giving advice is that no one is bound to take it, especially me. You said I was spoiling their game. Sister Audra, in an orphanage, everyone has exactly the same thing as everyone else. And it's very important to have one more thing, something special. I had a clock. It didn't work, but nobody else had one. You were raised in an orphanage? Kansas City. They found me in the front stoop in an apple crate with a great big sign over my chest that said, Love. I didn't know it was a name or a request, so they... They call me Benevolent Love. With Ben, for short. That's a lovely story. <laughs> Before I got the call, you'd take a water tank full of the blood of the lamb to cleanse these robes. I've sinned far more than I can ever make up for, but I figure the inferno might not be quite so hot if I can keep a few people from going there. I never told anybody that before. I don't know why I told you. I guess it's just been on my mind for so long. Well, I better get going. Wait. That was something more easily left than said. I, I admire you for bringing it up. Well, then you forgive me, sister. I don't think I'm... Well, you come to my meeting tonight and you'll see how I make up for it. You will be there, won't you? I'll be there. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, with Adrian being blind, I can't afford to pass up a chance. Is that all the love you have in your hearts? Oh, come on. Now I've sought out converts at bull baitings and cockfights, and I've heard more enthusiasm for a grizzly and a Rhode Island red. <laughs> now that's more like it. My brothers, sisters, look down on the ground around you. You see a rock there? Pick it up. I don't care how big it is, just you pick it up. Want to get a rock? Now. I'm a sinner. I am a black-hearted, hateful, sinning breaker of the commandments, and I deserve to be lapidated. I deserve to be stoned to death, and I carry out for it. So now you throw those rocks at the sinner and let him who is without sin cast the first stone.
No stones. Not one stone. Well, we all know what we are. And now I'm going to tell you what we're going to do about it. And he who does not pledge himself will sweat in limbo, singe in purgatory, and burn forever in the fires of Hades with nothing to slake his thirst save the abomination of the river Styx. Amen. Now hold it, hold it, hold it, Flock. Oh, the best is yet to come. Now let the blind and the cursed and the lame and the halt come forward. This is the time to come forth and be cleansed. If I ever get you ten, there's a cure coming. How has evil made itself manifest in you, brother? I'm lame. My brother's mute. Heal me. Please, heal me. Do you believe you can be healed, brother? I believe. I believe. Brothers, sisters, Give this man your love. Give this man your hearts, your prayers, your faith. Do you feel it, brother? Is it there? It is, brother Lou. It is. Walk tall, brother. Walk tall and straight. Walk. I can't. Yes, you can. Now throw away those supports. I can't. I can't. You can. You can. You can. Walk. Walk. a leg that's never been off the ground. I dragged it in back of me for 18 years like a, like a snake's tail. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. I'm in your service for the rest of my life. Now, heal my brother Flood, brother love. Please heal him. Deaf and mute all the days of his life. Where is he, brother? And in this day shall the deaf hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of the darkness. And the mute shall speak in tongues known to mankind. Do you feel it, brother? Is the power of goodness about to burst through your veins? Come out of him! How long has he been that way? Since birth. Well, then it just might take a little longer. Brothers, sisters, we'll have another special meeting, same time tomorrow night. And I'll heal this man, or I'll sell my soul to the devil. Now, I'm sorry, brothers, sisters, but I feel I only had half the prayers of the audience tonight. Now, you come back here tomorrow night underneath these same stars. Can you do that? I'll have him here. And I guarantee you he'll walk out of here singing and answering your spoken questions. Now! This heretofore lame man will pass amongst you, and you give in accordance with what you've received. If you hold out your hand in a neighborly way and say, share it with me, brother, it's a beautiful day. Life is worth living, so whatever you do, let a little of that brotherly love shine through. Brotherly love, brotherly love. Bless you, brother. 
brother. A dime? I gave as I received. You saw what he did tonight. And I never saw it done better. Well, you're just mad because you didn't want to come in the first place. Do you believe all that? I don't know. To the sad, you will help him with his burden, and the sorrow is bad. Sister Audra? Brother Barkley? I sincerely hope you enjoyed the meeting. Well, yes, it, it was most enlightening. Can you stay for a cup of coffee? Well... It's a long way home, Mr. Love. We'd better be going. Good night. Good night. Brother Love? May I help you, sister? The sermon was beautiful. Well, hallelujah, sister. Hoped it was. Of course, I don't understand that uh, second man not being healed. You see, it, it, it don't happen too often. Then you do have a lot of curing? Oh, yes, oh, yes. Maine to California. But you look pretty healthy to me. Oh, I am. But I have a little daughter who doesn't see. Oh. And you'd like me to pluck the scales from her eyes? Sit down, will you, sister? Well, did we sting him pretty good tonight? $22.73. Well, now, I'd expect that from the Song of Solomon and Psalms, but when I really let loose in the Book of Revelations, I expect at least twice that much. Now, who'd we really get to? Well, the Barkley girl gave $10. That woman who just left gave 5 the woman who just left is going to contribute $500. And Sister Audra just might be good for around $3,000. Now, give me $5 out of that plate. What for? For the orphanage. What orphanage? The charity of Sister Audra's. You just don't go around collecting $3,000 without investing some goodwill. What about her brother? Do you think you can sell him, too? He looks like he'd be trouble. Well, he don't worry me none. I've got an equalizer. Well, new dress? Yes. Aunt Nell's all excited. Well, it must be some dress. Not about the dress. Brother Love's going to try to help Adrian. Oh, a little girl? Mm -hmm. Well, I hope he can. How much? What do you mean? How much did he clip her for? She didn't give him any money. Well, good for her. But she's thinking about giving him $500. It's her money. Why are you so against him? Well, you saw him heal that man. I thought it was most impressive. Well, did you ever see that lame man around town before? No, but I happen to know that he heard of Brother Love's work and came here to find him. Look, sis, three years ago, a man like that wanted me to show for him. He was going to remove a scar from my face. All I had to do was put a little glue right along the cheekbone, and he was going to heal me, take it right off. Are you saying that Brother Love healed a man who wasn't even sick? Well, why don't you go back tomorrow night and see him heal another one? I don't believe it. Why don't you ask him? Good morning, Sister Audra. I was just thinking about you, Brother Love. Well, as kindly, I hope, as I have been thinking about you. That man you cured last night. You never saw him before you came to town. Sister Audra, I do believe the devil has gained your ear. Well, it's just that I've heard that uh, some traveling preachers hire... Well, they use... Shills. Shills, I believe, is the word you're searching for. Yes, yes, there are those abroad who employ that unholy practice, but, uh, well, I thought you had more faith in me. I'm disappointed. Our collection last night was less than $23. Now, would I practice fraud for such a meager amount? Would you do it for $500? Why that amount specifically? 
I do know Bold is a friend. Oh, yes. A widow with a blind child. Well, I, I did agree to try to help, but I set no sum. She happened to mention she had that amount, but it's no concern of mine. What does pain me, though, is the fact that you so quickly mark me as a thief. A thief I am. Look at my plunder. A wagon, two dray animals, a razor, a Bible, and an extra suit of clothes. Now, if this community is of so little faith that it, it reads chicanery into my offer of help, then I assure you I shall never again see the widow nor her blind child. And I don't seek vengeance against the child. It's just that if you don't have faith in me, if these people don't have faith in me, then I can't do anything anyway. Now, just say the word. Say the word, Sister Otter, and I'll move on. If there's a chance for that little girl, I... I can't take the responsibility of denying it to her. If there's a chance? Do you really think there's just a chance that there's a power bigger than any mere human being? I'm sorry. I almost forgot what I came here for. Here, for the orphanage. I always give 10% of my collections to a worthwhile local cause. Now I feel even guiltier. No, no. Take it. It's for the children, and the children should be happy. I know they'll appreciate it. Look, I'll, I'll be going back to the orphanage in a while. Why don't you meet me there and, and make this gift yourself? Well, that would... Uh, that would please me greatly. <laughs> How'd it go? Fine. Just fine. Oh, but you don't sound all shot up with enthusiasm. You want me to be jumping up and down? We spent the morning together. <laughs> but no three thousand dollars. It might take a little time. Time? But Mace, uh, do you get the idea that old Ben might have stepped in his own bear trap? Would be. You notice the way there's honey dripping from his eyes when he looks at it? That's enough of that. Well, you ain't getting no permanent ideas about that girl. No, Ben wouldn't do that. He ain't the marrying kind. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking maybe I just should get rid of both of you. Hey. Hey, now. We is just joshing. Yeah. So don't get your back hairs up. I don't want to hear any more about that girl. All right, all, all right, anything you say, but what about the widow? Uh, $500 ain't 3000 but we could use it about now. You're right, I'll go and see him. as well harvest the fruit while it's ripe. Now, that's the Benny boy I've learned to love and revere. You just lay off that bottle and don't get into any trouble till I get back with the money, right? <laughs> He offered not to see Idenell again. Well, that's when you should have taken him up and sent him packing. He just might be able to help Adrian. I, I couldn't take the responsibility. Who am I to deny her what might be her last chance? All right, all right, you got conned. And you talked to him for two hours this morning and you got reconned. Double talked. Nick, you met him. Mm-hmm. What did you think? Oh, I... I was impressed. But then again, con men always impress me. Well, I uh, have some fence mending to do. I'll be back later. You're both impossible. Just try and soften the ground. Break your fall. Don't bother. She didn't need a bite. Too busy asking our advice and not taking it. <laughs> Faith does wonderful things. Through people like Brother Love. No. But is there any way we can prove it? Well, I could ride over there and ask him.
You have to use all the water. There's plenty more down in the creek. Don't come any closer. This man's straddling a rattlesnake. Ah! Oh, you sure got your voice back in a hurry. Looks like Brother Love isn't the only one who can work miracles around here. Brother Love healed this man last night after the meeting. That's, that's right. Why didn't you jump when I fired? Well, you see, I... What do you want here? Where is Brother Love? He's on an errand. But when he gets back, I want you all out of here. Well, maybe we just don't want to leave. Well, you want to stay permanently? We have a nice, warm jail. My, my, Brother Mace. Ain't he got a long nose? Oh, he sure does, Brother Flood. And what happens to long noses? They get broke. <laughs> Are you sure the deaf mute talked? Well, his last lines were the effect that long noses got broke, and he was almost right. Well, what are we going to do? Look, I am through doing. Now, you get in touch with your friend Idenell and tell her to keep her purse buttoned. I'll do that. Well, the love ain't gonna like it. Well, it can't be helped. When he gets back with the money, we just better forget about the meeting tonight and keep moving. Well, where is he? I want to talk to him right now. Well, who's that? So you can talk. You know who I'm talking about, Brother Love. He's on an errand, sister. To steal $500 from a friend of mine. Well, he won't get it. Wait, you go for Come here! I, hold it! Hold it! What are you going to do with her? Well, we just keep her here till Love comes back with the money. Uh, uh, but there ain't much chance of her contributing to the building fund now. <laughs>
might be. What do you mean? Ben had eyes for her. You want to tangle with him? Oh, oh. All right, what happened? Keep your hand away from your side. I don't want to see that pop-out gun. I asked you what happened. She rode into camp here. Said some bad things about you. She was going to tell that widow. She hit my gun hand. It was an accident. You can't do it, Ben. You can't. Now, look. Just give me my share of the money. I'll ride out of here. Your share of the money. I'll give you your share of a bullet. Now, you take him and you get out of here. And if I ever see either of you again, I'll kill you. Now, get out. Now, get him. Get up. Ben, uh, her brother's on to us. Uh, you stay around and they'll hang you. Get out. We'll, we'll, we'll get him. Get out! Look at that. It's like just a crease. I'll clean that up. Where? Take it easy. Take it easy now. Everything's under control. Why is it so dark? Order of the sun. Sun. The sun's shining. It's all right. I can feel it. I can't see you. Easy now. I can't see anything. I can't see. I can't see. Oh. Audra. Now come back. Open your eyes. Audra, come back. Why, no, I haven't seen her. Are you sure she said she was coming here? Yes, she wanted to talk to you about Brother Love. Brother Love? Victoria, for the first time in my life, I have some hope. I think he can cure Adrian. Audra does, too. Not anymore. I'm afraid Brother Love isn't all he claims to be. I'm very sorry. Did you give him any money? Yes. We'll try to get it back for you. Are you sure that he's... Yes, he's a confidence man. I should have known that. Oh, thanks, Victoria. I'll be all right. Well, do you think she went straight to Swanson's Grove? I think we'd better find out. According to the good book, Gospel of St. Mark. According to the good book. I don't guess there's much I can tell you about the good book. You wrote it. But you got another book. You get one with my name on it. Well, I suppose you must have around a thousand pages just where I used your name in vain. And there's all the rest of it, too. So you got a score. I got a thousand dollars. That's all I got in the whole world. It's yours. If you spare this girl. It's all yours, every penny. I'll even change my ways. I'll confess everything. If you restore her sight. 
Oh, God, you got less reason to listen to me than anybody else in the whole world. But there's nowhere else I can go now. I, I tried to out Holly. you. I can't. I tried to out slick you. So I guess I think maybe it's time that you and I had a a heart-to-heart -heart talk. I think that's what prayer really is anyway. You see, if I was asking something for me, well, you could hit me with a bolt of lightning and I'd be the last one to blame you, but I'm not. I'm asking for her. Sweet, innocent girl. And she's made in the image and likeness of you, and I, I just can't picture a blind god. You know, one thing I never did lie about. I always told my flock that I was a miserable sinner. Now, you gotta have that in the book, too, right? Come on. Help me. Help her. Please. Barkley, let me explain it. Look, I know what you're thinking, but I... No, let go of me. I'm all right, Mother, I'm all right. Audra. Your face, just look at it. You can see. You prayed, you really prayed. And he heard me, he listened to me. And he just won himself the best feeling preacher this side of the big river. And I think he knew it all the time. them to spoil you for a day or so. I'm afraid they already suspect. Well, you suffered from a temporary hysterical ophthalmic malfunction. You mean temporarily blind, right? And extremely fortunate. I've known of cases where the condition lasted for months, even years, particularly with a wound such as yours. Then you might consider it a minor miracle. The words minor and miracle should never be used in the same sentence. I'll remember that. Well, come by my office in a couple of days. May I come in? I think she's been expecting you, but don't stay too long. Audra, how radiant you look. Thank you. The doctor says I'm fine. Oh, thank God. And I mean that. It's very funny. Yesterday, it would have taken me about five minutes to say that. A lie takes an awful lot of words. Truth takes very few. How about you? Well, I had a little meeting with the sheriff. I don't think I gained a convert, but he's not going to press charges. But then you'll be moving on. Yes. When I'm coming back, I want to build a church in Swanson's Grove. I made a promise. And I have an awful lot to make up for. How big a church? Oh, I'd say about 20 cubits by 30 cubits. Audra, how big is a cubit? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hallelujah, sister. Hallelujah, brother.
and said, I aim to see those pearly gates and sit on that golden throne. When was that? Two months ago? Six months ago? A year? Oh, I see we have our work cut out for us in this sin-filled town. Revival meeting. Tomorrow night, Swanson's Grove, 7.30. You tell your neighbors. 7.30 tomorrow night. Here you are, sister. You won't regret it. Come on out there with your friends. Tell your neighbors, 7.30, Swanson's Grove. There you are, brother. Well, now, what do we got here? My brother here is a deaf mute. I'm lame. We heard about your miracles. Uh, heal us, brother love. Drive out our devils, wash us clean. Well, now, my sons, I can't cure you all by myself. It'll take the combined prayers of all your good neighbors here, but I guarantee you, you come to my meeting tomorrow night and you'll leave walking, and he'll leave singing joyous hosannas. Hallelujah, brothers. Hallelujah, brother. Young lady. Oh, your piety and serenity falls fair upon my eyes. I'd like to offer you a special invitation. Sister... Audra Barclay. Yes. I'm Brother Love. I've heard about your family. They're quite prominent in these parts. You could lend an awful lot to our crusade, Sister Audra. Well, I... Uh... 7.30 tomorrow night, Swanson's Grove. Hallelujah, Sister. Remarkable. Remarkable. Come on, Audra, let's go and try your dress on. Howdy, fellas. You were due in yesterday. What held you up? A convert, brother, a convert. Soft she was, like a mouse's ear. <laughs> Old oh, Mayser has been limping and gawking around here for two days. Set you up pretty good. You figuring on getting your foot caught with another convert? I saw you talking up a pretty young one over there. Now, look, fellas, by ourselves, we could hit this town for about $15 and a dozen eggs. Now, we get the right people behind us, and we can get fat. Now, that girl I was talking to was Audra Barkley, the richest family in the valley. And we need their support. And I intend to get it. With the girl. Have I missed one yet? Hallelujah, brothers. Hallelujah. Cleave under the word. Remember the lilies of the valley, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, brother. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
getting warmer. Those sky pilots turn up every spring. That's a nice boy. Yeah. How long will you be? Oh, not long. I'm just going to Ivy Mills for a dress fitting. Do you have any money? How much? Five dollars. Five dollars? How do you keep that awful thing? Well, that? That's for good luck. Ever since I've been carrying that, I haven't been bitten by a single rattlesnake. When was the last time you looked in your neighbor's eye and said, I love you, brother? And when was the last time you raised your eyes and said, I aim to see those pearly gates and sit on that golden throne? When was that? Two months ago? Six months ago? A year? Oh, I see we have our work cut out for us in this sin-filled town. Revival meeting. Tomorrow night, Swanson's Grove, 7.30. You tell your neighbors. 7.30 tomorrow night. Here you are, sister. You won't regret it. Come on out there with your friends. Tell your neighbors, 7.30, Swanson Stroke. There you are, brother. Well, now, what do we got here? My brother here is a deaf mute. I'm lame. We heard about your miracles. Heal us, brother love. Drive out our devils, wash us clean. Well, now, my sons, I can't cure you all by myself. It'll take the combined prayers of all your good neighbors here, but I guarantee you, you come to my meeting tomorrow night and you'll leave walking, and he'll leave singing joyous hosannas. Hallelujah, brothers. Hallelujah, brother. Young lady. Oh, your piety and serenity falls fair upon my eyes. I'd like to offer you a special invitation. Sister... Uh... Audra Barclay. Oh, yes. I'm Brother Love. I've heard about your family. They're quite prominent in these parts. You could lend an awful lot to our crusade, Sister Audra. Well, I... Uh... 7.30 tomorrow night, Swanson's Grove. Hallelujah, Sister. Remarkable. Remarkable. Come on, Audra, let's go and try your dress on. Howdy, fellas. You were due in yesterday. What held you up? A convert, brother, a convert. Soft she was, like a mouse's ear. <laughs> Old uh, Mace here's been limping and gawking around here for two days. Set you up pretty good. You figuring on getting your foot caught with another convert? I saw you talking up a pretty young one over there. Now, look, fellas, by ourselves, we could hit this town for about $15 and a dozen eggs. Now, we get the right people behind us, and we can get fat. Now, that girl I was talking to was Audra Barkley, the richest family in the valley. And we need their support. And I intend to get it. With the girl. Have I missed one yet? Hallelujah, brothers. Hallelujah. Cleave under the word. Remember the lilies of the valley, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, brother. Hallelujah.